Hey guys, welcome back to the Barrel Projects. Today I'm gonna go ahead and build a spray booth uh, for about maybe $25, $30 or less. Um, I just wanna go ahead and show you the items that I bought. The spray booth that I'm gonna do is um, actually to, to be able to color and spray with an airbrush machine. Uh, all right, so what I did is I went to the dollar store and I bought myself some lights. Um, they're a dollar each, a hundred Lumis uh, each one. And then I built these turntables. I printed, 3D printed these turntables here. So for I can go ahead and put those items in there. That's pretty much what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and include the links from Thingiverse there. And then I, 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 uh, I printed 12 of these uh, corner brackets in order to go ahead and hold these foam boards that I also bought at the dollar store. So they're about a dollar a piece. And then um, <clears throat> I bought this 20, uh, 20 by 20 filter. Uh, I did get it at Kroger for about $5. You can buy them on Amazon or Home Depot for a little bit more, but I don't think I needed to spend, you know, $20, $30 on a filter when I can get it for five, right? And then I got myself one of these box fans. I've had this for a while um, <clears throat> in my garage. I typically use it when it gets too hot. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna build an enclosure, uh, a spray booth in order for me to go ahead and start um, coloring in or airbrushing the items that I go ahead and print. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you uh, how to put it together. All right, so what I wanted to show you is basically I put these braces, uh, these corner braces, and they pretty much just slide into the foam board, right? All right, so let me go ahead and show you. So basically I put the fan in here and what I wanted to do is that when I close this, the fan, when it's sucking out of the machine, it's not, the, um, the filter's not moving, right? So that kind of bracket here helps that from happening. And then what I did is I make sure that the board was long enough to kind of cover the outside of the fan so there's more suction coming as well. So what I need to do now is put the last piece of foam board on the top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the turntable and the lights on it. So let's just go ahead and let me go ahead and start putting um, the other foam board on it. All right guys, so I went ahead and I closed it all up. I put those LEDs in there. They'll Velcro it on so I can take them on and off. I also put these side ones here to kind of give me more of a, um, lighting from underneath and this is what it's looking so far okay so now i'm going to go ahead and let me turn on that fan i'll put it on three you can feel the suction in here. Hey okay guys, so I have the fan on and I'm gonna sp uh, spray paint right now. I'm gonna use one of these puppies right here.
guys, so what I want to show you is that as you see the filter sucked in all of the overspray, there's no overspray on the top anywhere. That's how good it works. Alright guys, well if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe, hit like, and share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time at the Vera Projects. Have a great one.